Hey, uh, hi, good morning. Uh, Dr. Robert here. Uh, a little update on cellulitis. <clears throat> we see a ton of cases of acute cellulitis in the hospital setting. Um, cellulitis is, as noted, very common. Only 4% of patients with acute cellulitis, usually of the lower extremities, but sometimes the arms, will have bacteremia. Key thing is to look for the portal of entry of the infection. Usually we're talking staph, either MSSA or MSA, MRSA, or beta strep, and these the portal of entry is generally going to be through uh, tinea, eczema, psoriasis, a puncture wound, an abrasion, that type of thing. If it's on the feet or the toes, often the ankle is skipped, starts in the calf, moves up towards the, the knee, thigh. With strep infections, generally we'll see a lot of lymphangitis and lymphadenitis in the groin. Uh, also, the blistering is more common with strep, as is the edema. Uh, usually it's more of a pitting edema, whereas staph infections are usually associated with a pink, very hot cellulitis. MRSA is generally going to be associated with some type of an abscess, uh, often related to PVL toxin. Key in treatment is to minimize the edema, as the edema basically dilutes the antibiotic therapy. Uh, if the creatinine is normal, we can use NSAIDs for the inflammation. That helps also. So elevate, use compression on the extremity. Uh, it's very, very important. Uh, good skin care and getting the portal of entry taken care of is key. So once the cellulitis is gone, if we want to prevent recurrence, we need to minimize edema. We need to do good skin care uh, and take care of the portal of entry. If it's tinea, they need an antifungal. If it's eczema, they'll need a topical steroid, uh, that type of thing. Very important for ongoing treatment of cellulitis. Thanks a lot. Dr. Galbraith signing off.